Beautiful. Ready. Ready for the ingestion of the golden teacher. Yeah. The knife is not for violence. It's to provide substance of the paradise water. I agree. The true holy water of the earth. This is it. This is it. It's also very, it's also very effeminate. The shape. Okay. I agree. All right, you agree. That was so, beautiful. So we have two ready. Now we're gonna go find. So this is the place for communion. The most holy communion with paradise water and the sacred mushroom. The golden teacher. So let's do this. I agree. My first time. What'd you catch, Chuck? A rasp. It's like a parrot, a parrot fish rasp. So, and it's still alive. He's still opening his mouth. When they get bigger, they change their sex from male to female and back to female or male. And this hump gets really big. Look at that fish, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's so you're on video now? Yes, sir. So we've had a, uh, his name was Nangong. I can't remember his name, but he was showing us, he would offer this fish. And the microphone is picking us up. Yeah, Do I, you have to speak up? I hope so. Uh, maybe just a little bit, but. So this is the time of communion. Cameron and I have come out to the place where there's, there's almost no people. There's a few subsistence, traditional fishermen and people collecting copra. And our communion today is going to be the golden teacher. We have um, about 2.5 grams each of the golden teacher that we're going to each eat. I would have had a bigger dose, but we got to share it. So, but we still have enough for more. We sure do. This communion will 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 bring us to be to be one with the earth and one with all things, and to be friends with all, and to not to only think good thoughts and not have not have negative thoughts. Only good thoughts and a actions. We have a good vibes only policy. Absolutely. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, Chuck brought over here after he renounced his citizenship and decided to move over to Fanning. He brought a bunch of, what, mushrooms and uh, pill capsules, dimethyltryptamine, MDMA, LSD, and... Uh, cannabis. And cannabis. A lifetime supply. So he is... Uh, and I find that to be absolutely hilarious. So, uh, yeah, here we are, middle of the Pacific Ocean, incredibly isolated from just about everyone, and uh, and probably one of the most beautiful places on the planet, about to ingest some good old psilocybin mushrooms, my personal favorite. Here you go, there's one, two, three, four, five, I have six. There must be one more in here. Can you see? There it is. Oh, perfect. The 
plan is, is it's not good to have it in the capsule because the capsule delays the, the stomach from getting it. This is my first time. I missed out. I didn't really miss out. I was, I was a devout follower of Jesus and a, as such of, as such I obeyed the laws of the land. And, and I've come full circle where I've come to realize that, that to, to have communion with, with something that grows from the land, there's no sin in that. It's, it's communion. It's, it, this is what brings us to be one. This is what the ancients, the, the ancients of the Bible, Isaiah, Ezekiel, John of Revelations and others who, who had visions. They had visions while, while, following, while following the mushroom, while letting the mushroom be their teacher. So this is it. Mm -hmm. And stop breaking apart. Ah, it finally broken half. Hard eating it with the cap pill capsules. Mm. I'm breaking them apart though. Me too. Cheers. To the mushroom. And all its glory and whatnot. To the golden teacher.
Yeah, now this is uh, just kind of your ideal uh, paradise right here. Holy shit. This is incredible. Wow. This water is like bath water. And this is a sea slug. Look at it, squirt water. <laughs> Woo. They're crazy creatures, aren't they? Sea slugs. Two sea slugs mating. <laughs> and it's squirting. <laughs> ah, life, I love it. I just ruined some probably really good sea slug sex, but uh, you know, what, what you gonna do, I guess. Look at all those birds doing their thing, flying above these fucking palm trees. It's all tourists, what? Wow, uh, no tourists or anything. This is incredible. Like, this is just unspoiled paradise. It needs to stay this way. I, I don't get me wrong. Like, I love people, but uh, you know, there's very few places left in the world like this. Very few, where they're just entirely untouched by man. You know, other than maybe some people who love their coconuts, but uh. This is just, <sighs> look at that, look at those birds, that's beautiful. Hey bud. I am gonna have some uh, bovita and some peanut butter. Mmm. I haven't eaten anything for like 24 hours and uh, some peanut butter sounds great right about now. I'm not gonna keep saying over and over I'm 60, but look at, I jumped right out of that world and two weeks, two weeks ago, I was there in fucking Reno. Yeah. And now, I'm here with Boy Wonder. <laughs> Boy Wonder. He, he on his mat, <laughs> and mine on mine with our own. Our own coconuts. Our own coconuts, our own images, and our own dreams. Yep. Um, but, uh, but he's on his, actually, I, I love the, um, there's a neat pattern. And I, yeah, I, I this is beautiful. I like it. I saw it. Okay, here, one go. Gorgeous. Look at that. Naked and afraid. <laughs> but with clothes on. <laughs> Good stuff. Now, for the main course, peanut butter. <laughs> I've invented the dream combination of food. Peanut butter on a coconut. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now that right there is a food source. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Go ahead. Really good. Enjoy. Enjoy. Mm, all right. Enjoy. I am. Believe me. I can tell that. back to the Garden of Eden, it's not that people ate from the sacred tree of knowledge, it's that we've stopped eating from the sacred tree of knowledge. And I, the way I have uh, kind of experienced it, um, almost a, it's almost as if uh, we've developed this neurosymbiotic relationship with this mushroom as we've kind of evolved into consciousness and into and into just self-awareness and that we've actually uh, kind of broken away from this this symbiotic relationship at some point in history 
and which kind of led to the shit show of a few thousand years we've experienced. Um, but I, I think it's time that we kind of, you know, reconnect ourselves with, you know, our roots. Like, I, I think this is it. I think I found it. I think it's, I don't, I don't find it, but uh, it's been there, you know, it's, and the answer lies within the mushroom. Um, cause I, I don't think mankind can do this <laughs> by, by itself. Like we, we're showing, you know, we're, we're trying, but I, 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 the way I see it is that we're going to need a lot of help. We're going to need some help of some sort. Um, a lot of help. We're going to need a lot of help. Um, and I think, uh, the mushroom is going to be the answer and I think we need to reestablish this by going out to the natural world and just, you know, consuming, like ceremoniously, um, kind of becoming one again with Mother Nature, and uh, it's it's possible, I, I think, uh, to kind of pull out of the direction that we're going right now, because we're we're just going towards hell. I mean, with overpopulation and just the route that we're going and the way we're working, we're literally working ourselves, we're working ourselves into extinction, basically. Um, and I, I find that pretty, pretty sad. I mean, look at this place. Look at this world we live in. It's a, life itself is a miracle and it's just this magical experience. And, um, you know, mushrooms really help. They really help with life, I've found. Um, actually, I'd say the most, the five, the, my top five most incredible spiritual experiences, I mean, just incredible experiences in general have all, all been on mushrooms, all under the influence of mushrooms. Um, actually, I find myself straying away from all other substances. I'm not, I think when I turn 21, I'm going to try not to drink any alcohol, not smoke any weed, um, just basically go for mushrooms and maybe occasionally DMT, dimethyltryptamine, which, you know, I'm going to get more and more into that and talking about dimethyltryptamine because holy shit, oh, man, it's crazy. Sun's going down a little bit. We had a great time just floundering around in the wilderness here and now we're going to pack up our shit and head back to our little island to, to sleep again. Paradise, huh? It's paradise. It's a beautiful paradise. Sure is. Back off to our little island. It's hilarious. Got my fly rod, got my tripod, and uh, we are on our way back to our own little paradise. Right out there in the lagoon area. I mean, look at that. Pretty incredible. We'll make it. You look classic. <laughs> oh my god. Except today we're carrying the GoPro. Oh it's my ank my um I have to let go of that. <laughs> and it's a GoPro, so I can let go of that too. I have to change the hands because you're dropping coconuts. <laughs> I'm dropping my nuts. You dropped all your nuts. I've lost my nuts. You've okay. lost every nut. Did I lose them all? Nope. There you go. Oh, you... but what about the knife? Is that it's hanging? Oh yeah, you got it. You're good. Okay. Yep. I'm carrying nuts.
this <laughs> a naked and afraid lady in over there in Koala Basin. I'm sorry. Was it Desiree? Well, made it back to our island. It's been quite the voyage. I'm a uh, wow. What a picturesque little place this is. Old knife. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was a knife from a Japanese samurai. They broke off. They wrapped it with fishing line they found and rubbers they found. Oiled. There's even a bit of wood on it. Talk about that knife. Yeah. We've been living off this knife. Coconuts and things. Yeah. Once again, it's Chuck and I under the stars. Under our one little coconut tree over here. Cameron and I. Yeah, Cameron and I. <laughs> Cameron and I under the stars. <laughs> and it's really going to be beautiful tonight. It's really, there's not a cloud in the yeah, sky. Yeah, this is gorgeous. There's these outrageous the bands of of, of of different colors that are going off. Oh, yeah. it's from the shadow of the clouds over the horizon. Yeah, this is freaking crazy. Wow, look at that. I didn't even notice that. You're right. There is some stuff going on in the sky over there. Bunch of lights. Oh, oh that bird. Oh my God, look at this place. Wow, what a moment. Jeez. Huh. So, what's the flattest spot on this island? No, back where we were laying. You think so? Pick that. Come on up. Come on up. Naudi. We gotta see. Okay. Naudi. Naudi is tight. Oh. Naudi. Naudi. Oh, what? Here are long. Two minutes in a tongue out, so quarter time they in Kai. It book and tear how it already knock it off with two times. And it don't mice the bin. Oh, oh, cook corner in a care and Kai. In the gathering darkness here. He's got a whole line of coconuts. That just is mind boggling. So. Hey, Sigurai. Sakai Sabo Remwe. Sabo and Kami. Kuraba. Oh, Tayoka. Antayaram. Tokani Bea. Tokani Bea, okay. All right. Sabo Remwe Tokani Bea. Albuna, Awatai. Wow, that was crazy. I'm just out here. And I'm here, it's just, it's absolutely crazy. Like that, but, but really, this is Fanning Island. Are you chatting with people? Let's pray the GoPro has it. Let's pray, dude. Yeah? Yeah. I think they had, they had a bunch of little kids in the boat. Yeah. Not a bunch. They had two little babies in the boat, both under six. Uh, they were sleeping on the coconuts. And then Tokani Bea was the man that I, I know very well. Mm -hmm. 